Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Super Nerd here. In the last episode of Spyro Reignited Trilogy, we took on Cloud Spires along with Molten Crater. And in this episode, we're gonna see what this seal has to say. But before we do that, guys, if you like my content, please leave a like and a comment down below. And subscribe to my YouTube channel. It really helps me out, and I really appreciate it. That being said, let's hop right into this. Yay! My portal is working. I'll see you at the beach. I'll see you at the beach? Let's go to the beach! Woo! Hey, everybody. How's it going? We are at the beach. Kind of, sort of. Well, we're, uh, we're underwater. Not exactly the beach. What do you have to say? While I was gone, my friends borrowed the Rhinox submarine. Then they took it for a joyride. And then they smashed it into a big pile of rocks. Oddly enough, the Rhinox failed to see the humor in their actions and stuffed my friends in the jail cell behind you. Well, I can see how they would fail. Yeah, I mean, they look pretty trapped in that jail cell. Okay, moving forward, just a review of the underwater controls. Charge button is to charge underwater. Flame button does absolutely nothing because fire and water don't mix. You can use the jump button to move forward slower. However, I really don't much. I don't think much of a point in it. Uh, all enemies here are chargeable, obviously, because you can't have flame, and why would you make an invincible enemy? So. The octopuses that you see swimming around will spin when you get close. If you are not fast enough, their spin will cancel out your charge. Just make sure to hit them dead square on when you charge them. The rhinox you see swimming around will shoot if you shoot at you with a blaster. So it's best to come and strike from underneath or above because they really only shoot straight. That being said, let's crash into this giant shell. Another Rhinox in here. If you notice too, they're wearing Speedos. Here is the submarine they were talking about. It does seem fairly busted up. But I don't see how this would be much of a great submarine anyway, so I don't know why they're so upset. Coming out here, as we can see, we are now actually at the beach. So that's okay. You want a quick summary of your progress in a world? You Yes, I've already explained the guidebook. There are enemies hiding in the seashells as you just saw. They will carry a shovel with them and smash them really close. If they are in the shells they will simply like swipe their shell at you and they'll hurt you that way. One thing I did forget about quick though is there are skill points or a skill point in sea, sea, sea shell shores called catch the funky chicken. I will explain that when we get to it. Coming in the lake here, there is an egg. This is Jason. Jason, how are you crying underwater? I like your ability to ignore things. Jumps along the bottom too, mostly around the perimeter. There is an enemy in here, so after the gem, take him out. Go. There he is. Continuing on, we have to go backwards a little bit. The other side is right up, so we cannot get him. These big rhinox are throwing barrels. They work just like the norks from the first game. You charge the barrels back at them, and they'll blow up on themselves. These rhinox are elevated as you can charge the barrels back at them, but you can still use fire on them while they are distracted. Moving forward, I believe that's all the gems. So, we can come into here. They are two enemies in the shell. Soft. Careful not to get hit. Why am I so bad at this? Yeah, you hit me. You can go to your bike. Immediately 
to the right, there is a staircase. We're not going to wander up that yet. First, we're going to take care of all the shells down here. Two of them, I believe. Mm -hmm. The third one is the staircase. But it still contains a gem. So, Now we can come up the staircase. Zoe has something to You can to hover to get more distance when gliding. Thank you. We've explained this. A bunch. Turn around and glide back down the staircase, and there's a platform up here you can reach. I believe you need a running start to actually get there, but if you can get it without a running start, good for you. Leads you up into this giant shell that we came into when the two enemies were down below. There's some gems around the perimeter, but going back up the staircase and heading forward normally, Oh, come on. As I was saying, heading forward normally, we can come up here. There's a decoy on this side. Take you out over here. Both of these on this side, though, are enemies. So there you go. And we have a Sheila segment coming up here. So everything on the platform, you can head in. Oh, hi Spyro. Some of my seal friends are trying to take down a Rhinoc fortress. I'm about to go and lend a foot. I love the smell of singed Rhinoc in the morning. Me too. So, coming here, we immediately have a slight danger. There's a cannon here. You get on top of the cannon, and you smash it, it will blow up. I can't remember if you can kick it or not. I never do because it's easier just to jump on top of it. There's a hidden cave up to the left with Jared in it. Along with a head bonkin. And that is their official game title dubbed by me Head Bonkin Chest. No way. Thing or something else. Hi, Sheila. The Rhinox have built a fortress on our beach, and we're going to blow it to smithereens. We just need you to take out all the turrets for us. We're lighting the bomb now, so just make sure to stomp all those turrets before the fuse runs out, okay? Okay. You have a minute and a half to take out all the turrets if not too at all. What I like to do is I like to hop up here, and if you hold the head smash... How was it? I can't remember. I thought there was something where if you hold the button, then... Uh, you can crash through multiple... If you let go of the button mid-head smash, you only crash through one. Either way, simply kick down the normal boxes anyway, so you might as well. The time limit is not stressful at all. I believe there are nine, uh, not nine, twelve, sorry, twelve enemies. They're pretty easy to take out because head smash or in this case, but stomp them out just like that. And just like that. Time limit, super simple. Or super forgiving. Wow, I can't believe I survived that blast. It's a good thing I kept this egg nice and safe in my pocket. Molly, surprised you're not toasted. <laughs> Although you do look like you have a little bit of That's okay. We'll love you anyway. There, each cannon does give a gem, so you want to keep that in mind. But other than that, we can head out. There's nothing else special in here.
Okay, guys, now that we are back at Spyro, we can continue on in the level here. Why not throw in barrels right off to the left? And we got a staircase. Carefully of the And we can go back into the water now. These sections over. Now we're back swimming underwater. We got guys with torpedoes. Um, get the Speedo Rhinox. Are you swimming all the way over? Octopuses around too, so you can charge straight at them. If you're gonna go for it, go for it. Gotcha. All the meanwhile, collect gems on the floor here. Now, this little chicken here is. Okay, I think this is the guy. Little well, chicken is actually a duck swimming around here. What you want to do is charge him. There you go, and catch the funky chicken. That'll give you a skill point for this level. Simple and good. I like it. Okay, I believe I have defeated all the enemies in the area. I believe I have collected all the gems. Oh, there we go. I believe we have collected all the gems in the area as well. We're gonna head through this portal. Used to have a dragon egg for you, but instead I used it to test our ultra high speed super fluidity tunnel. The good news is that it made it to the end of the tunnel without a scratch. The bad news is that there's no way to get it back out now. The tunnel is chock full of Rhinox and floating mines. The only way to retrieve that egg is to defeat every single Rhinox in the tunnel. Okay, we can do that. No problem. Defeat the Rhinox, don't hit the mine. Simple as that, you don't need to hold the charge button, you're already charging because of the current. Uh, be careful though, the turning physics are really weird. It, it's like drifting in the snow if you live in any cold weather climates. So you kind of want to turn a little early, and you're going to turn twice. Go! Yeah, it's not the easiest egg to get, I'll, I'll be the first to say that. It's not the hardest, but it's not the easiest either. I'll just say that. Yes, I do. Get him. Oh, yeah. This egg has surprisingly good fluid dynamic characteristics. From now on, all of our submarines will be egg shaped. Congratulations, Duke. You made a history. <laughs> oh, that's. 28 eggs. Now we can head out and swim straight up. Coming around the perimeter here, there are some gems, and now we can head through this portal. Pluto the Rhinoc has challenged us to a naval battle. Our speedboat versus his nuclear shark submarine. If we win, we'll get the dragon egg he's guarding. If we lose, we'll have to spend a month doing kitchen patrol. What do you say? Do you want to take on Pluto? I'll take on Pluto. Okay, good luck. Heck yeah. So. There are boxes in the water with a missile in them. When you get the missiles, you can, uh... One more time there. You can hit the fire button to fire the missiles. You can also press forward, boost, and turn turn on a dime and you can really go forward. So, make note of that. Steering is a little weird. Alternatively, just remember, you can. Whoa! Not do that. Alternatively, you can uh, press the jump button to 
All of those shots. So the boat direction is not necessarily turning as it is the pointing which way you want the boat to go. So if you press up, the boat is going to start turning more. Even if the boat is already. Oh, okay. Even if the boat is already facing left, it's still going to. There we go. That was some good hits. Oh no, okay. Take him out. Oh, no. Okay, as you can see, Bluto can pop out at times and fix damages that have ensued on his nuclear shark submarine. Why can I not steer? The steering on this is really weird, guys. So if you're having trouble, don't do that. It is really funny. And just like that, you can take them out. How? That's the first time Bluto has ever lost. You dragons must have a ton of talent. I hope this egg was worth all the trouble. Jackie! Alright, before heading out, now that we have done that, we can uh, come in here and swim in this level normally. So we're going to go through, we're going to collect all the gems, get all the good stuff, dive under the water, make sure you get everything under here. And now that you've defeated Bluto, Bluto is gone. So these waters are safe to swim around in however you want. Don't be afraid. I believe that's everything underwater. So now we can run around. Oh, I'm stuck. Okay, I'm not stuck. We're good. You everything? No, nope. I guess I missed it. Show me first. Okay, now what? Are you pointing towards the exit? Yes, you are. You're pointing towards the exit. We can go now. Now that we have done that, we can come down. What in the tunnel? I did go in this tunnel. That's that's right. I am forgetful. Okay, so now we can crash through here and take out this octopus that is holding the My hostage. plan worked. That dumb octopus dropped the jail key while he was shaking me. Now I can free my friends. Well, congratulations. And he opens the doors and all the seals. Oh, I forgot to tell you. One of the Rhinox had this egg in his lunchbox. Daisy, no, you were gonna get eaten. It's okay, we saved you. Okay, we've gotten all the eggs, but not all the gems. In this tunnel up towards the beginning. This is where the seals were kept. And I thought that was the last of the gems. Sparks, you need a way. You know the way. Oh, is it just this enemy? I just missed this one. I did. What? It's still not it? Am I really missing 20 gems? Guys, I'm bad at collecting. I can't stuff. wait until the Rhino. Where to? Show me the way. Okay, you're saying over here. I'm getting what you're putting down. There's five. Okay, 15 left. Show me the way, Sarge. Holy cow, I missed a bunch. 
There we go. Level 100% complete. Exit level. Let's head on over to the balloon. Three, two, one, jump. Okay, guys, once you've completed all the main levels in an area, uh, you get teleported to the, the balloon here, and then they pull it down for you. And what do you have to say? Okay, I will, but not now. We have a speedway. The balloon's to take all ready, sir. First. Just jump on. Mushroom Speedway. Before we hop into this, guys, note that. Oh, I'm thinking of something else. I thought there was a uh, skill point here. There is not. Don't worry. Hello. Hi Spyro, there are two flying challenges available here in Mushroom Speedway. You can either time attack or race the butterflies. Which challenge would you like to play? Alright guys, so here's where the speedways differ a little bit. There are two objectives in each speedway now instead of just one. So, first one is time attack, second one is race the butterflies. Everyone is going to have a time attack, which is just your normal average speedway, and the other objective is always going to be a race. So I'm going to take out the race first, just because I think that takes a little longer. And what that entails is a whole bunch of rings around, and what you got to do is you got to fly through each ring, and eventually get in first place and win the race. You have three laps to do so. You will always have three laps to do so. And you must always do it in three laps. So, that being said, there are blue stars hanging about. That will give you a little speed boost. If you get multiple in a row, then you get a super speed boost. So it is always a good thing to go for them. As you can see, we haven't even completed our first lap, and we're already in the third. Another thing you can do is when you get close to one of the races, you can flame them to slow them down. Now, as you may believe, the racers in front are better, and so the butterflies in this instance towards the front of the group will take multiple blue stars, whereas the butterflies toward the back will take less blue stars. That being said, you hit all the blue stars you see me hitting and you should have no trouble winning the race and taking the butterfly. Cut your corners when you can. Note that you only have to touch the ring, you don't have to go through it. But if you miss a ring, you have to start over, so be careful. Okay, at the start of the third lap, we are still in the third, but we are quickly gaining on the second place butterfly. We just overtook him. And it is not too far from the first place button. Ooh, you are a little ways away. I don't know if I can catch you. Did I do something wrong here? I did. Okay, we're gonna retry that one. That was weird. Not doing good on that one. As you can see, we are already doing much better. We're right on the tail of the second place butterfly. And we will 
Okay, right here is where we are going. There we go. And we still have a whole lap and a half to take the first place butterfly. Don't you worry your pretty little head. We will win this race. You hit all the blue stars and you will win. I guess I didn't cut my turns sharp enough on the last run. So we are just going to do this run again. Again, flame butterfly when you get close, it'll slow him down for a second and you can easily take the lead. Just like that. We have half a lap and we just have to maintain our lead. So we will. And just like that guy, we have won the race. You won the first prize! First place prize! This is John. <laughs> Babies are cute! Which challenge would you like to play? Now I will do the time attack. Here's a hint. Try completing each challenge in order. Start with the rings, then go to the dandelions, then spiders, and finally butterflies. It's not the fastest way, but it's the easiest. Alright, we'll take your advice. Do rings first, then dandelions. If we flame the dandelions when we're close, everything is in a nice, decent track area. This one, we can move on to spider. 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 Crawly. Spider. Spider. Gotcha. Now we can do butterflies. Butterflies are easy. They're all just flying in a circle around this guy. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I think these butterflies are kind of creepy looking if you see them in front. And with that, we did it. Seven and a half seconds fair simple but we are going to retry even though we got perfect we want to retry quick because there is another egg we can get you guys remember the last game hunter was always hiding around in the speedways and he has not changed his ways whatsoever he is hiding again whoa Saucers just came out of nowhere and started blasting up the race course. Looks like I'll have to hop in my plane and teach him some manners. Look out, sheep! Here Look I out, come! Look out, sheep. So you can press A or X to boost and... Whoa! Let's retry that, Whoa, shall we? Looks like... Press Look A or X to boost and B to fire. I must have just supercharged the way that uh, this they can send energy orbs flying out at you. To be you can hit just about everything else in the level though. Don't run into the water, however. Water is pretty bad. Like that, I've already taken out five of seven. I'm just gonna find oh, there is one. Oh I took out Oh, you butter. Let's try that again. Whoa! Looks like. Look out! Let's do better this time. Do much better. One thing. Whoa! Come on. Whoa! All like, right, guys. Out. Hopefully for the last time. One thing I recommend doing is once you learn their pattern, charge at them from the front and try not to follow their path. If you follow their path, they're going to launch their orbs at you and they're going to have a much easier time on taking you out rather than taking them. 
That being said, if you have to follow them, feel free to kill my team. Corner. I got one of them. The other one. There we go. Check it out. The squad leader had abducted the hater. Egg. Sounds like someone who'd get abducted by an egg. Or abducted by a sheep. Hater. Alright. For completing the uh Time trial, we get another egg. So that's three eggs and four, 400 gems, I think. So, with that being said, we can exit the level. But, I think we're about out of time, guys. So, in the next episode, when we take the hot air balloon to wherever it leads us, we will uh, we'll have a grand old adventure. But until then, guys, see ya!